You already know what happened at the start of the season, opening game of the season at Newcastle. We got absolutely smashed 5-1. You see tomorrow, you see tomorrow, we need revenge. Let's get straight into this match preview, people. Yes, yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Of course, I am back for the match preview. Aston Villa against Newcastle tomorrow, 8.15 kickoff, of course, at Villa Park. And I have to say, people, it has been way too long since we've played at Villa Park. The last game was against Burnley. And yeah, man, it's been way too long. So can't wait for the game tomorrow. But let's get straight into this preview. Actually, before we get into the preview, we need to touch on a situation. The team we are playing, Newcastle United, have an interest in Jacob. Ramsey, imagine, yeah, I wake up in the morning today, go on Instagram, and all I see is Jacob Ramsey transfer rumours, Newcastle United interest, even by Munich as well. But yeah, the word you guys know that's flying around right now is FFP, financial fair play, man. And this word is just becoming so annoying for me, man. Why does this have to exist? But let's touch on the details of this. So basically, Newcastle, according to uh, David Ornstein, Newcastle have approached Villa to sign Jacob Ramsey. However, if a big sale isn't made by NUFC, Newcastle United, he's likely beyond reach. Bayern Munich and Spurs also have long-term interests, man. Bro, I'm big up Aston Forza, people. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Got it from him. But yeah, man, like this transfer news just came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere, man. And also... um. Villa signing Ramsey is a big if because, of course, he's, you know, he's established himself as a key player for us. People forget. And the thing is, as well, fans are fickle. Like, before, Jacob Ramsey was our best player, bro. People forget. Like, we can have Messi and Ronaldo in the Villa team. They might go out of form for a month and then Villa fans will say Salim. Like, some of the comments I was seeing today, people saying Salim. He's had the injury, people forget. He had the same injury twice. Of course, you're not going to be the same player. Guys, if you've played football before, yeah... And you get the same injury. Of course, you're not going to play with the same intensity. You're not going to play with that same drive that you were before, man. And for me, Jacob Ramsey is a key player for us. Uh, but yeah, FFP is a massive, massive concern. So basically, Villa have to raise, raise funds before the end of June to stay compliant with profit and sustainability rules. Plus, that has alerted to us, we believe, offers above 50 million will at least be consist, uh, considered. So, if a team does, fit, does bid 50 million plus, it can possibly mean that Jacob Ramsey does go. And also as well, it's, it's not just him. Like, other key players in our squad, fan favourites, you know, players that are quite, you know, big, like Emi Martinez, these players there. Bro, we never know. These players can, can go as well. If it comes down to FFP and Villa need to raise funds, sometimes... These players might have to go, man, which is it's sad to see. But at the same time, I do hear it because if you want to, you know, be OK with FFP, you have to follow the rules. Look at teams like Everton. They had a 10 point deduction because they didn't follow the rules with FFP and stuff like that. So I think now clubs are playing are paying more interest with FFP. They don't want to get into trouble. They want to follow the rules and stuff like that. Yeah, man, hopefully Jacob Ramsey doesn't go because for me, I think he's a top, top player, man. He's got a lot to offer still. Like I said, he's had the injury. He hasn't been playing the same. But for me, I still rate him, man. I think he's a top, top player. And I think he's one of Aston Villa's best players, man. So, yeah, people, this FFP thing, man, it's just annoying, isn't it? It's annoying, but let's touch on Newcastle. Currently 10th in the league. They're coming back from the win against Fulham. 2-0 they won. And I have to say, they've had quite a few injuries this season. Like I said, they're 10th in the league. But I think that is a lot to do with... Um, they're missing key players, man, especially at the start of the season. Like, they've had tough fixtures as well. And I just think because they've missed key players, Eddie Howe hasn't been able to play his kind of style of football properly, that high-intensity football. You know, missing key players, you just can't play that same football. And I think that's, that's hindered them. Also, as well, Champions League football, that's a massive, massive factor as to why the league form has possibly dropped as well. Like, last season, the men were cooking. They were absolutely cooking, but yeah, injuries played a part. Champions League football as well, of course, that's played a part. And it's not just Villa that have this FFP thing around their head. It's Newcastle United as well, people. The rumours coming out saying that they need to possibly sell a first-team player, a big dog player, maybe like an Isaac, uh, even like Trippier. That's why those rumours were coming out as well. So it's not just Villa, it's other teams as well. Um, 
which is interesting as well. But Kieran Trippier did come off against Fulham with a groin injury, but most likely he'll be available uh, to play against Villa, which is a massive boost for them. He's a key player for them. We're going to have to watch out for his set pieces as well, top quality set pieces. Uh, they've got more injuries as well. Callum Wilson, he's injured. Um, he was linked with a uh, move away as well because Man United, the teams are like think Chelsea as well. Uh, but Eddie Howe as well, he's come out and said that, you know, he's committed to the club as well. Who else is it? Almiron, he's got an illness. Uh, but Eddie Howe hopes that, you know, He'll be available uh, against Villa. I think he's a tricky player. I think he can cause problems and stuff like that as well. Joe Willick, of course, he's injured. Um, I rate him highly as well. I think he's a good player, man. I think he's a good, good player, good Premier League player. Um, Harvey Barnes injured as well. Um, I rate Harvey Barnes, you know, like once the ball is in behind and he's got space to run in behind, I think he can cause problems. But of course, he's not going to be uh, available tomorrow. He's injured. Elia Anderson as well, youngster. Um, he's injured as well. So, They've got quite a few injuries. Villa, we got a few injuries as well. I haven't seen um, Unai Emery's press yet. I don't think he's done it yet as I'm recording. Um, but most likely it's the same players that are injured. Power Torres, Ramsey, Dean, uh, John Duran, which, which I'll touch on uh, in a bit as well, people. But yeah, both teams have got injuries as well. Also, Jamal Lasalle, he's injured. Uh, Jacob Murphy, he came on against, um, well, he started against Fulham. Uh, after two months as well, he's had an injury as well, so which is good to see for them. Uh, and yeah, I can see him possibly starting um, against Villa maybe. Let's touch on some of their key players, people. And the first one, I think Isaac, man. I rate him, you know. I think Isaac is a good player, man. They spent a lot of money on him. I think it was like 70 million. Um, and yeah, he's doing well for them, man. I think he's a player we're going to have to watch out for, especially at defence as well. He's strong. He can hold the ball up. He's got a good shot on him as well. He's got a pace as well. Um, and yeah, just that directness. Bruno, Bruno Gimaraes, he was linked uh, with the move away as well. Um, yeah, he's a key player as well. Trippier, like I said before, we're going to have to watch out for him. The set pieces. Anthony Gordon, he can cause problems. He's got that pace on him. Uh, Jacob Murphy as well, if he does start. Uh, like I said, he's coming back from, from his injury and stuff like that. But most likely, we can see him start against Villa as well. Previous result. At the start of the season, we got absolutely smashed. 5-1, people. 5-1. We got cooked. We got put in an air fryer, bro. In the oven, in the microwave, everything like that. That, that game was one of the worst games I've seen. From Unai Emery's Villa side, but at the same time, you have to take into consideration that the Villa players were getting used to Unai Emery's system. We were getting, we're getting used to his, you know, his style of play, his philosophy, and stuff like that. And yeah, man, like I said, we got absolutely smashed five-one. Well, yeah, tomorrow at eight fifteen kickoff under the lights at Villa Park. It's going to be a good one. The atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric. And also, I'm hearing as well, there's going to be another light show. We know what happened in that last game when there was a light show, bro. That can't happen again. But yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. Like I said. Now let's touch on Villa people, currently 4th in the league, 43 points and yeah like I said at the start as well, the last home game was against Burnley and we won 3-2, been absolutely time, absolutely time since we played at Villa Park. I just want to touch on some of the performances people, last couple of games I have to say, they haven't been the greatest, we've been getting results and we're still in form, I'm hearing some people saying now Villa are going to fall off and stuff like that, let's say that, that ain't going to happen, I still do think we'll get Champions League football but I just think with the performances we can do better and tomorrow is a perfect game under the lights at Villa Park to play our football and play, uh, play fast-paced football as well because the last couple of games, the football has just been too slow. We're trying to bait teams out. We're trying to take them out of their positions. Um, but I just think that if there's more attacking fluidity, especially in the final third, we can cause teams problems 100%. Um, and yeah, we just need that final attacking third edge. Yeah, we just need that killer, that killer pass, that killer final third movement, I think. Uh, and yeah, I just want to touch on Diaby as well. I don't think he'll start tomorrow against my predicted lineup, but I don't know, man. I've, he's off form right now, and it's evident to see. Every Villa fan can see that. And I think with him, he's just need to give him some time, man. The start when he came and he was cooking, he had some goals, he got some assists, uh, but I just feel like he's kind of dropped off. Let's just get into some of the injuries, people. Pau Torres, of course, he's got that ankle injury, man. And yo, I keep saying this, Pau Torres is a massive, massive miss for us, man. Like, he is key in the way we want to play, man. And I just hope this injury ain't as bad. Like, I hope he's back for the next game. Who we got next Sheffield United? I hope he's back for that, man. And I just hope it's not as bad as, as we think. Because, um, yeah, man, he's a top player for us. Uh, Jacob Ramsey's got a small hamstring injury. Uh, and, yeah, most likely he'll feature against Sheffield United. John Durant, he's got a hamstring injury. He'll be out for a few weeks. Uh, Luca Dean as well. He'll return into action next month. And he's close to returning to full training as well. So... Yeah, man, there's injuries, there's injuries, there's injuries. But let's hope you get the result tomorrow, people. All right, cool. Let's get into my lineup now. And of course, I'm going to go with Emmy Martinez in goal. Right back, I'm going to play Matty Cash. 
Centre backs, I'm going to go with Concert and Carlos. Uh, I'll bench Longley. I'll play Concert and Carlos. Uh, left back, I'll go with Alex Moreno. Centre mids, I'll go with Kamara Louise. On the right, I'll go with John McGinn. On the left, I'll go with Tielemans. Um, and then up front, I'll go with Leon Bailey. Back in the squad. Straight back in the squad. Um, and yeah, next to him, I'll play Oli Watkins. That will be my lineup, people. I think Diaby uh, will be on the bench. Uh, and yeah, I think Leon Bailey will come in for him as well. Uh, but yeah, people, that's my lineup. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Uh, actually, before we end that, prediction time. Prediction time. And yo, you know what? I'm going for a win. I'm going for a win. And I'm going for 2-1 to the Villa. I think we'll get two goals. I think they'll score a goal. But I'm going to go for 2-1 to the Villa people. Hopefully we get the result. Yeah, people, that is my lineup. That's a lineup I think Unai Emery will possibly play. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Your predicted lineups, your score predictions. Uh, any Newcastle United fans watching, let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below. But yeah, people, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back for the match reaction and the match day vlog as well tomorrow after the game. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully it's a Villa win. Hopefully we absolutely source tomorrow, people. But I'm out. Up the Villa.